is it all wrapped up? President Obama and Prime Minister Modi are getting down, well, literally, to business. The forum is being co-chaired by Cyrus Smith III of Tata Sons and David Coat from Honeywell of the United States. The Ambani brothers, Anand Mahindra, Chanda Kochar of ICICI Bank, and Kiran Majumdar Shaw of Biocon will be among Indian the Indian corporate leaders present at this particular event that we're going to go to live. The U.S. team comprises, among others, Indira Nui of PepsiCo, Harold McGraw, Chairman of McGraw Hill, Financial, and Ajay Banga, CEO of MasterCard. Well, for the U.S., the big concerns are restrictions on foreign investment and confusion over taxation in India, while the Indian focus is on issues ranging from visas to attracting investment and manufacturing expertise for Narendra Modi's make-in-India ideal. Well, significantly, India and the U.S. have already signed three agreements yesterday for smart cities in Ajmer, Allahabad, and Vishakhapatnam. I want to quickly bring in my colleague uh, Pankaj Upadhyay for more on this. He's right outside the Maudya Sheraton Hotel uh, in Delhi, where the, the, the CEO forum meet is uh, to kick off any moment now. Lots of concerns on the table, Pankaj, uh, both India and the United States in terms of trade, in terms of investment. Uh, you know, there's, there's a huge, huge, there's a mountain of work, uh, you know, before both nations uh, you know, before they can even realize those very ambitious trade and investment targets that both sides have actually agreed on. So it's going to be pretty crucial, the kind of message that both President Obama and Prime Minister Modi send out when they meet with those CEOs a short while from now, Pankaj. Uh, that's right, Shiv. Uh, we are trying to get the details of what's happening inside this all-important meeting. All eyes are now set on the meeting where the top executives of both the nations would be meeting. And, of course, they're meeting with Narendra Modi and Barack Obama. Uh, sources tell us that uh, Indian investors, Indian exec top executives see this as a great opportunity because India at this point of time needs a foreign investment. And they feel that this could be the crunch time to boost, to get in the investment. Of course, this is also, also the opportunities where the Indian top executives would be sharing their concerns as well. They would be wanting the American market to open up considerably, especially for the agricultural products as well. They would also be talking about the free trade agreement as well. And of course, a fantastic opportunity of our restructuring the smart city, of which Narendra Modi had committed that he would be thinking of at least making some hundred odd uh, smart cities. At the same time, the um, American executives will also be having their concerns as well. No doubt about the fact that concerns related with the visas uh, given to the uh, technical firms as well, the social security agreement as well, is also going to be discussed. So, as you rightly pointed out, a lot is at stake right now, but as far as the Indian side is concerned, which is going to emphasize on Modi's policy of making India, they see it as a fantastic opportunity of yeah. laying down the various issues, laying down the various concerns, with the belief that this is the time to give a boost to that economy and get in that much-needed foreign investment for the country. Bankar, stay with me. I just want to point our viewers to these, uh, these latest images that are coming in from the... Uh, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, it's an outdoor reception uh, for President Obama and the First Lady. Uh, it's there at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the President once again playing host. You can see uh, that uh, Prime Minister Modi and other guests have all already bega begun arriving. Uh, shortly after this, after this event uh, is the Maurya Sheraton uh, event. These are the pictures from uh, that event a short while earlier at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Prime Minister Modi, President Obama and all other Yes, there at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. I want to bring in uh, Sanjay Puri once again. Uh, uh, you know, Sanjay, as we as we look at these pictures and as we talk about, uh, you know, the very important CEO forum that is going to be addressed by both the leaders uh, in a short while from now. How important is the message that they send out right now? The, 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 the general sense is India-U.S. trade investment, the business relationship, is an ongoing one. It's not a new one. Uh, you know, it's on track. There's, there's a lot of substantial stuff happening. Uh, you know, billions of dollars of trade and investment both ways happening every single year. But what is the kind of message that the uh, you know, communities on both sides will be looking at from both these leaders now to actually, you know, take springboard things to the next level? Well, I think... Uh you know, Prime Minister Modi has talked about the chemistry. I think that's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, and I think they're seeing positive signs with the ordinances and things of that nature. But being realistic, CEOs invest in to increase shareholder yes. value. They don't invest because President Obama is telling them. Right. Uh, one of the things, if I were Prime Minister Modi, is I would look at American companies who have invested and have got the maximum number of jobs in China and say, hey, 
I want you to make in India Foxconn, right. which makes iPhones has 500,000 people working right. in China. Why can't you do manufacturing here? So some of those kinds of actions also right. would be good. We've got Disney and all those folks, but Disney is an interactive business. That's not large number of right. ma make in India kind of employees. So I think the semantics and symbolism is great, but now we need to take it to the next level. Right. Absolutely. All right. Uh, uh, we're going to talk in greater detail about the expectations from both sides. Remember, a uh, huge amount of symbolism. Nobody is discounting the importance of symbolism, especially when it comes to high-level, uh, you know, visits of this kind. But it hasn't only been symbolism. Remember, day one has proven that there has been enough achieved between both sides on just this one trip that the U.S. media, at least, had uh, almost sort of dismissively said was, uh, was, was virtually a personal visit uh, by President Obama to see the Taj Mahal. Well, that didn't happen. That got canceled. President Obama will be leaving a little earlier tomorrow uh, to, attend, uh, to attend the last rites of the uh, Saudi king, the deceased Saudi king, King Abdullah. Well, the national anthem plays at this point of time at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. We're going to leave you with these pictures and return after a very short break.